Hello everyone, this is a continuation of Uncharted 4, A Thief's End. Please enjoy. This place is humongous. <laughs> Where do we even start? Yeah, well, we start from finding a way in. And then we can take the grand tour. You think this place has an alarm? Let's try and find a way in that doesn't involve breaking the window. I'm pretty sure the front door will be locked. Tell you. Mm, it was worth a try. All right. Let's look around back, huh? Hey, Nathan. Look. It's an open window. Oh, yeah. Here, follow me. Okay, give me your hand. All right, there you go. Come on, Nathan. Whoa. <laughs> Spooky. Oh, well, here. I brought a spare. So, are we looking for any particular room? Uh, just keep an eye out for any books, journals, any kind of research papers, you know? Hmm. 
Nope. It's not gonna be in this attic. The boxes are filled with old traveling and camping equipment. go. So, how do we find them? What, Mom's notebooks? I mean, don't you remember? She always used that off-white leather binding. Yeah, I know, but it's such a large place. <sighs> Here we go. White leather. Sam, I think I found one. For real? No, it's not one of Mom's. You got the right idea, though. Let's keep looking. Hey, Sam. Call me crazy, but this looks like a Ming Dynasty vase. Nathan, who in their right mind would have a Ming Dynasty vase just sitting around like that? Yeah, it's probably a knockoff of some kind. Yeah, of course it is. Right? Right. Uh, uh, budge. Here, let's do it together. You ready? Push! 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 What the hell? It's some sort of sarcophagus. This whole place is filled with sarcophaguses. Or sarcophagi. Hmm. Sam, this is real. What is this place? Huh? Let's go find out. <laughs> hmm. Huh. This one's Roman. Third, maybe fourth century. Organ jars. <laughs> cool. Recognize that one? Uh, I, I've seen something like it before. Reclining figures. It's Etruscan. Ah, uh, that's right. Yeah, husband and wife, and buried together. It's kind of dark, and like in an awesome sort of way. <laughs> yeah. This place is like a damn museum. <laughs> Think they've got a dinosaur wing? Wouldn't surprise me. Hey, do me a favor. When I die, bury me in one of these. Sure. Can I mummify you and put your organs in a jar, too? On second thought, maybe not. Another one. <sighs> nope. I do believe this is an ancient Mesopotamian washer dryer combo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was the funny one. Always was.
Hey, Nathan, check me out. Now, who am I? Huh? Dr. Livingston, come on! <laughs> <laughs> nice. Man, what I wouldn't give to get an invite like this. So where are we going? Huh? Well, if you could go anywhere in the world, where would you pick? Anywhere? Anywhere. Okay, well. Here we go. India. Yeah, we'll visit the Taj Mahal. Check it out. <sighs> it's hot in there. I just read this one. Oh yeah? Is it any good? It's kind of incredible. It's about the first Western woman to visit Lhasa. I'll get there myself one day. Round and round she goes. Soviet Union. Let's go to Moscow. Hey, I might be a tad difficult to get in. I always wanted to see the Red Square, though. Fertility totems. Hey, aren't you a little young to be looking at that stuff? Aren't you a little old to be making that joke? Eh, that's old. Wow. This table is as big as the ones in the orphanage dining hall. I bet the food here was better. <laughs> Wouldn't take much. They must have thrown some great parties in here. Judging by the artifacts, they certainly had enough money for it. Yeah. Looks like it's been a long time since the last one, though. Whoa. Hornets of Arabia. I always wanted to see that flick. Never got around to it, though. Jousting armor. Looks French.
Damn it. Journals about everything in the world, but nothing for Mom. It's a big house. Don't give up yet. Samurai. Eh? You recognize the crest? Uh, Hollyhock leaves our, um, let's see, don't tell me, don't tell me, uh, Tokugawa clan. Yeah, right you are. Can you imagine being the one to actually uncover these things? Is that a letter? What's left of it? Someone wanted to buy their stuff. Guess they said no. Not like they needed the money. I wouldn't want to part with the stuff either. Okay. I don't think Mom's journals are anywhere in here. Let's, uh... Let's check upstairs. Locked. Mom's stuff might be in one of these rooms. We gotta find another way in. Maybe you don't go waving your flashlight around the windows too much? Oh, yeah. That could get us into the room below it. Not us. You. What? I, I can't fit in there. Can you handle it? You kidding me? Can't handle it. All right. Let's see what you got then. Smile, all right? <sighs> Don't lose it. Fall.
Check this out. I'm not claustrophobic. Okay, I'm in. Can you get the door open? Uh, hold on. Ah, it's locked from this side, too. And look around. Is there a key nearby? Anything? Didn't see any journals. All right, well, we still got the other locked door, so come on. Wow. Uh, journals galore. Well, let's see what we find. something <laughs> this is it Is a paradise? Whoa, Henry Avery. Gunsway heist. Huh. Oh, what do you got there? I've never seen this one. Yeah, me either. But that, you know, that's definitely Mom's handwriting. Put up your hands. Slowly. Hey, hey, hey. There's no need for that. What is he holding? Hey, hey, hey. You keep your gun on me. Give me my journal. <laughs> all right, all right. All right. I'm sorry, Nathan. So what now? Now. We wait uh, for the police. Yeah, you don't want to have to deal with that headache. Stop. I mean, the hassle of ruining two kids' lives, that's... I really don't want to shoot you. Come on, lady. It was no harm, no foul, all right? We all must face the consequences for our actions. 
at least let him go. I brought him down here so he could see our mom's stuff. That's it. He had nothing to do with this. What? I'm telling you that this is all on me. No. Your mother's stuff. Yeah, that, that journal. It was our mom's. You're Cassandra Morgan's boys. Uh... <gasps> hi? My God. <coughs> I could have shot you. Yeah, you still might, so, uh... Do you mind? <sighs> you knew our mom? She worked for me. As I'm sure you've noticed, I'm a collector of sorts. <laughs> That's sort of an understatement. So, Mom was like your translator? Your mother was the most brilliant historian I have ever met. We could have accomplished so much together. But then her illness and... I'm sorry. No, it's all right. Happened a long time ago. Of all her discoveries, this would have been her crowning achievement. Sick Parvis Magna. Greatness from small beginnings. Sir Francis Drake's motto. Yeah, Latin and historical figures. <laughs> Those were our dinner conversations. We were uh, a weird family. Did she ever tell you her theories regarding Sir Francis Drake and his heirs? Uh, Sir Francis Drake didn't have any heirs. Yeah. That's what history tells us. But your mother and I believed otherwise. Learning that old pirate's secrets is just one more adventure I have to let go. I guess there's a lot I have to let go. <laughs> Forgive me. Ramblings of an old woman. Here. It is as much yours as it is mine. Who knows? Perhaps one day you'll be able to finish what she started. Uh, yeah, so, uh, we're off the hook, right? I'll handle the police. You found your way in. I trust you can see yourself out. Hmm? Yeah. Uh, Here. <sighs> Thank you. Sorry about the mess. <laughs> All right, come on, Nathan. Let's go. <laughs> Are you okay? Oh, holy shit. Hey. 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 Stan? Stan? Oh, Khalid. <laughs> You all right? Wait, we have to do something. Yeah, we need to get the hell out of here. Can't just leave her here. It's nothing we can do for her. All right, we have to run. If the cops find us here, then this. Ma'am? Nathan! We gotta go. Right now.
Sam! I got you. Just jump. The chimney. Come on. Come in. The front gate looks clear. Front gate. Got it. One juvenile. They're on the ground somewhere. Okay. I'd say we're clear, but we catch our breath for a second. Wasn't our fault back there. I mean, that lady, she. she was, um. sick. I mean, it's okay to feel bad, but there was nothing we could do about it. So, what are we gonna do now? I can't go back to the orphanage. We can't go back to your job. Then we don't. Sure. No, I'm serious. We get as far away from this place as we possibly can. Yeah? And how long till the cops find us? Well, I think they'll be looking for Nathan and Samuel Morgan. Yeah, that's us. What if it wasn't? Nathan, back at that mansion, you knew just as much about that stuff as that poor old lady. Here. I always felt that we were destined to for something great. But until tonight, I didn't know what that meant. But this, Mom's unfinished work, this is our chance to restart our lives with brand new identities. What are you talking about? I know some guys. Pretty good at forging papers, too. Now, as for our new name, Mom believed that Sir Francis Drake had heirs. Who's to say he didn't? You're serious, aren't you? Nathan, we were meant for this. And I promise you and me together, we're gonna go far. So what do you say? Nathan Drake? changed after that. You know, we became explorers, adventurers, mostly thieves. Ow. Okay, just hold still. 
You know, for a while, it felt like you know, if we weren't taking turns going to jail, it was because we were in jail together. And you know, after I lost him, I, after I thought I lost him, You didn't want to bring him back up again. Something like that. Well, that's it. Now you know everything. With you, I doubt that that's everything. But... It's a lot. Love to know what you're thinking. I'm thinking that you're lucky that I found you when I did. Yeah. I'm glad you didn't lose a limb or anything. It would have been a royal pain getting you out of here. How did you uh, find me anyway? Oh, you know, easy. Just follow the sound of gunfire. <laughs> no, I mean, how did you get here? Oh, of course. <laughs> Come in, Sully. Hey, darling. How's he doing? Oh, you know, he's banged up, but he's alive, par for the course. Now we just need to rescue the other Drake. What do you mean? I'll let Nate tell you. Hey, pal. Glad you could join us. Yeah, I wouldn't miss it. So what happened to Sam? Rafe's got them. Shit. You know where they are? Uh, yeah. They're headed to the northern side of the island. See if you can find a place to set down over there. Once we get Sam, we're gonna need to get out of here pretty quick. Copy that. Hey, hey, what about the treasure? Forget it. We don't need it. But Alcazar... No, there is no Alcazar. It's all bullshit. Wait, you mean... the dip, the... The escape? Yeah, Sam made it all up. What an asshole, right? Look, I'll fill you in on everything when I see you, okay? Yeah, I can't wait. Look, you two be safe down there. You know us. Treja. Thanks. Sure? No, I mean... Thanks for saving me. Again. I almost didn't this time. Right. Come on. I got us a ride. So, we're headed to the northern side of the island? Yeah, New Devon. One of the founders of Libertalia. And that's where Wraith is taking your brother. The treasure's probably there. Just need to save Sam before they find it. Look. Up there. I borrowed it from your shoreline friends. You slid all the way down from there? Yeah, it was the quickest way to get down to you. Now we just gotta figure out another way back up. <laughs> Nate, boost me up this ladder? Yeah. Here. So, have you been here long? On the island? A few hours now. Did you see the colony? I did, from the air. Pretty incredible, right? I didn't get the full tour. I was a little preoccupied with finding you. Right. <laughs> so, did uh, Sully fill you in on the deal with this place? Yep. Henry Avery, 400 million. Twelve founders, hundreds of colonists. Something like that. 
Yeah, that just about covers it. Had some time to kill on the flat over. Wow. Is that an elevator? Sure looks like it. I swear, Avery recruited the best engineers of his time. He must have used it to move supplies upriver. Yeah, that's a fair bet. There's an opening up there. Well, there's your car. Just need to get up there. Well, what do you think? Which way? Well, let's take a look. Too high. Let's find another way up. There's gotta be something around here. Ah, refreshing. Here we go. I can boost you up there. Great. What? Oh. Hey, do you think there's another way up? Uh... Hey, I see a path up here. a way through over there. See if you can find something I can use. Yep. Hey, I found something. Hold on. Oh. Hey, nice job. Not bad, right? Way to go, Nate. Piss a girl like that off. Idiot. Come on, I'll meet you around. I'm okay. Sort of. 
Everything's under control. See if you can get back up here. Yeah. Yeah, Roger that. Over here. Nate, can you find a way out of there? Looks like a dead end. Well, maybe the elevator still works. I doubt it. 300 years old. Been exposed to the weather, and who knows if it ever works. Oh, look, it works. I'll just uh, meet you at the top, I guess. Then, which way is the car? It'll be easier to spot from higher ground. Right. Good idea. This whole thing is powered by the water wheel down there. It's quite a feat for a bunch of pirates. You should have seen the stuff he built in Scotland. I mean, there is this... Hold up. You went to Scotland, too? Y yeah, I... I mean, you see, the, the last place Avery was... Uh, Really? Sully already told me. Ah. Right. At, le at least I didn't. Well, see, I, at least I didn't lie again. some exercise at least, right? Look, shoreline. They found your car. Technically, it's their car. So, let's get it back.
Okay. I think that's it. Shoreline certainly earned their reputation. Let's go before more of them up. You see a way out? Up river. There's an opening by the falls. Look at that elevator. It's massive. Yeah, I'm guessing New Devon's at the top. Then let's get up there. So here's my question. Why does Ray Fadler want Avery's treasure? It's not like he needs the money. He wants the glory. He doesn't want to be known as a guy who only got rich because of his inheritance. Walking away isn't an option for him. Well, Rafe is a good match for Shoreline. He needs their muscle and they need his money. They do? They seem pretty well stocked. Shoreline got involved in a couple of civil wars that didn't pan out for them. Nadine inherited her father's map. She's probably hoping that this will put her back on the map. So good. Keep heading upstream. Bet you could write a killer article about all this. <laughs> I could. I doubt anybody would believe it. Well, you could take pictures too. I didn't bring my camera. Kinda wish I did though. So why do you think Sam didn't come straight to you after Rafe got him out of prison? I think he wanted to gather every clue that Rafe had on Avery before bailing on him. Plus, he needed time to come up with that crazy Alcazar story. I mean, if I had just looked it up. That is one crazy contraption. It looks big enough to fit the car. Well, here's hoping this one works as well. Let's look around. Find out. Well, that didn't do. 
do anything. Stop the water wheel. Doesn't really help us, though. All right, let's try something else. Here's an idea. Maybe we can use the winch on the balcony down there. Worth a shot. There we go. Stand clear. I got it. Okay. How's that? Uh, looks like I can get up there now. Thank you. Nothing yet. Gonna climb higher. Need an elevator just to fix the elevator. Doubt? Oh, hold on. I'll stop the wheel. Okay, ready. <laughs> That's my girl. I'm going to detach the winch now. 
Okay. I'll bring the car to the elevator. Good call. Here we go. to uh... oh never mind okay Boy. Hey, watch out stay down here's the car is cover let me see if I can fly them duck in there. Wondering that ourselves. There goes nothing.
No use, the current's too strong. Damn it. Got control again. We're getting there. You didn't happen to bring us some spare clothes, did you? I did. Great. They're on the plane. Not great. That dam. We can drive through the sluice gate. We're getting there. You didn't happen to bring us some spare clothes, did you? I did. Great. They're on the plane. Not great. That dam. We can drive through the sluice gate. Nate, look, you can hook your rope up there. Here we 
go. It's no good, it's blocked. Okay, I'll try the other one. Seen that coming. And behind door number two. Looks like this one's clear. Nice work. We're good. Watch this. Hang on! Uh, we did it! You sound surprised. Maybe a little. And we're up! Yeah, which means we're due for some disaster. And the water wheel's working. That bodes well. Hey, give me a hand with this. Oh, crap. I'll hold it. Just get the car. There's nothing. Three for three. Gotta love that pirate engineering. Wow. It's like a postcard. Yeah, Libertalia. Come for the beautiful views, stay for the life or death gunfights. <laughs> mm. So what made you change your mind? Hmm? Huh? You said you almost didn't come back. Well, I couldn't leave when you were clearly in over your head. And you know, there's that whole marriage vow thing. For better or worse. Yeah. For better or worse. Here. Give me a hand with this. You know, even if you think that you're protecting me, you don't have a right to shut me out. No matter what it is, you're supposed to come to me so that we can work through it together as a team. I know that. Really, I do. It's just... 
I, I, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, we should stay focused. There'll be time for this later. <sighs> Next stop, New Devon. We're here, Sully. Where are you? Still in the air. Saw a bunch of shoreline vehicles heading north. I guess we'll see them soon. You two doing okay so far? We hit a few hitches, but so far so good. All right, good. Keep in touch, will you? I'm not the no news is good news type. We'll try. Over and out. Okay, should be on the other side of the bridge. Hang on tight. for the car. <laughs> Come on. I wasn't trying to protect you. It's just I, I made a promise that I was done with this life. We both did. Yeah, but I broke it. I didn't tell you because I was afraid. Afraid of what? Of losing you. I guess I was uh, protecting myself, you know? We have a lot of ground to cover. Yeah. Just keep moving. Yeah. This way. Yep. I 
At least we're on the right side of the river now. Yeah. That would have been bad. <laughs> See an opening up there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Avery sure picked a gorgeous island. Well, maybe we can come back here on a vacation, huh? <sighs> maybe. <laughs> Hello? Now look at the sign. Traitor. It's one of the rebels. That's a bad way to die. Here's another one. Sorry, buddy. No disrespect. More gibbets. Guess that's one way to quash a rebellion. I have to wonder if this was always the plan. What, to slaughter all the colonists? No, to lure them here in hopes of finding a utopia, only to rob them of everything that they have. Mm, we are dealing with a bunch of pirates. Well, oh, that is pretty diabolical, even for pirates. That gate's not budging. We need to get up and over. Odie Nakam, Paris in Paradiso. Today you will join me in paradise. Some paradise.
just need your help for a sec. <clears throat> Those things don't look steady. They're not. Be careful. <sighs> <sighs> Welcome to Avery's neighborhood. It's a nice place. <laughs> if you don't mind some structural problems and some water damage. Yeah, clearly some drainage issues. A <laughs> real fixer-upper opportunity. <laughs> okay, so... Looks like somebody blew that dam and then flooded the whole place. You know, I forgot. Pretty good at this. All right, so which one of these do you think is Avery's? Uh, my money's on that one. The one that's still intact. Ah. You're not so bad at this either. Yeah, well, you know, had a little practice, read a few books. Shit, no shit! What? What? The front door. Sam. He's still alive. Yeah, for now. Come on. All right, keep your eyes open for shoreline types. Yep. Here goes nothing. Whoops! You know, when Sully told me about this place, I was picturing wooden shacks and simple homes at most. Yeah. Through here, watch your head. Ooh, someone had it in for this guy.
It's this way. Dragon. We're in Christopher Condon's house. Shoreline. Lena, get down. I see them. The girls haven't come back with our pocket yet. Drake's probably still out there. So lock this place down. We need to be prepared if they show up. More prepared than the river patrol. What's that? Uh, nothing. It better be nothing. <laughs> It. Got anything? Nothing, bro. We're clear.
Everyone, Look out. spread out. Where the hell did he go? No way, I imagine that. Jesus, I think that's it. You okay? Yeah. Let's push on. Might be a way through this cave. Yeah, it's worth a look.
Whoa, okay. Garin's a little strong. Look, we can climb up there. Yeah, but it's too high, even for a boost. Then let's look around. Here we go. Look out below! Nice one. Get a hold of it. After you. Oh, how sweet. You want me to be your decoy? No. I was being gentlemanly there. I <laughs> just busting your chops. <laughs> yeah, well, the chops are plenty busted already. Thank you. Again, tired, bruised, a little hungry. I could eat. <laughs> Other than that, fine. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> okay, come on. Let's keep going. Try cutting through this house. Yeah. I'm right behind you. You think the colonists flooded this place? Well, they definitely had the motivation. Uh, you don't think it's them? Just find it odd that all these houses are underwater except for one. Exactly. Yeah, let's just hope we're not too late. Hey, check it out. 
These cannons look like they were retrofitted. Yeah, improvised defenses. Guess they didn't expect they'd be fighting each other. Guess not. Ooh, nice water feature. Whoa, whoa! Stronger than it looks. Hey, Nate. Over there, that looks like an exit. Hold up. I'll weigh it down for you. Great. Okay. You're welcome. Thank you. Make a great counterweight. Uh, I mean... It's okay. I'll choose to take that as a compliment. As well you should. I made it. I'll find a way up for you. Ugh, too hard. Can't do this alone. Move this out of the way. Yep. Okay. Hey, look. Thomas II's sigil. So we're in his mansion. Second in command. Going up the pirate hierarchy. Looks like we found the party. Looks like we're a little late. <laughs> hey, Nate. Check it out. It's another sigil. Oh my god. What? It's them. Elena, these other pirate captains have founded Libertalia. What the hell happened here? Well, I'm no forensics expert, but I would say... Bad drinks? Apparently. So 
So what was this? Some kind of wealthy pirate suicide cult? <laughs> yeah, not likely. Not these guys. On behalf of Lord Avery, I invite you to my manor at sundown tomorrow. The time has come to abandon our animosities and reunite under the banner of God and liberty. Signed, Thomas II. What do you bet? Thomas II, Henry Avery. Looks like our hosts didn't stick around to clean up their mess. Well, that wasn't very gracious of them. Okay, so... So these guys sparked a full-scale revolt when they claimed the treasure for themselves. Now, they took care of the colonists, but then they had to deal with each other. And I'm guessing things got pretty messy. So, Avery and Two invite them up here to, um... Uh, what was it? Uh, abandon our animosities. Abandon the animosities. Avery makes a grand toast. For God and liberty. Arg, ahoy, mateys, all that. <laughs> and they all take a swig. Except these two. And just like that, all the treasure of Libertalia becomes the sole possession of two men. These are some of history's greatest pirates. And they all perished in an instant at this very table. It's incredible. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. I, uh... I'm sorry. It's okay. So, since our missing hosts aren't here at Two's Manor... We should head over to Avery's. Yeah. Let's go. Up here, slowly. Right behind you. Be careful. Oh, oh. I'm okay. You got it. I'll meet you up top. Hi. Nate? And we Special are officially Nate. inside Henry Avery's house. Ostentatious. So why didn't he kill Thomas too? Was he like his right-hand man? Yeah, that's exactly what he was. <laughs> Can you imagine taking orders from a paranoid psychopath? This sounds like my first job. <laughs> what, the producer on your TV show? No, my manager from Macho Nacho. You worked at a Macho Nacho? It was a high school job. Did you wear one of those hats? The point is, my boss was a paranoid psychopath. He was the manager at a Macho Nacho. Just watch it, okay? Look, 
shoreline barricaded the front door. And left a bunch of muddy footprints behind. Let's see where they went. So, where are all the shoreline guys? I know, right? I expected to see someone by now. Yeah, it's like they all up and vanished. You don't suppose they're pirate ghosts? Don't even joke about that. Hello. Footprints go through this door. <clears throat> Crap, it's blocked from the other side. Why bother barricading their path unless... They found something. All right, help me push this open. Yeah.
waiting to ambush us. Yeah. All right, let's get that door open. See what they didn't want us to find. <clears throat> okay, here we go. You ready? <gasps> oh, hello there. What is it? It's a letter, signed by Avery. Really? Well, read it. My loyal subjects, as the sun sets on our glorious paradise, we must endeavor to preserve its riches. The traitorous, too, knows our secrets, so we must act quickly, destroy the dam, cleanse New Devon. Here we go. Uh-huh. And move my treasure through the passage to my ship. Two and Avery turned on each other. Are you really surprised? I guess not. Here you go. Thanks. Let's go find that passage. There's no more footprints. They end here. Okay, so where did they go? Pirate ghosts. <laughs> Let's look around. This is amazing. What? What have you got there? It's a copy of the British proclamation to apprehend Avery. Seems like he was proud of being the most wanted man in the world.
That's Sam's lighter. Did he drop it? Yeah, on purpose. Whatever it is we're looking for has to be somewhere around here. There's gotta be another way out of this room. Maybe that passage Avery mentioned in the letter. But where's the switch? Maybe this is a switch. No. I wonder if... Nope. Nate. Yeah. Did you find something? I think so. Whoa. <laughs> Good thing they figured that out for us. How did you do that? There's a bloody fingerprint right here where Libertalia should be, and I pushed it. Nicely done. So the letter said that Avery was moving his treasure to the ship. Yeah. Do you think your treasure's still on that island? I think, uh, I think it doesn't matter anymore. Here we go. Careful, Nate. Watch your head. Yeah. Oh. Looks like Avery built himself a panic cave. <laughs> yeah, I wonder where this goes. Crap. Guess we're gonna find out. This place doesn't look very stable. Like, share, and subscribe, please.